Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Matthew Boyle from LanguageCardGames.com where we believe if you can play cards, you can learn languages. And today I have something really special for you. This is the first time I'm reviewing another company's products on my channel. Alexandra Shushkevitz from Regipio Language Games has contacted me and we became friends and she asked if I would review some of their games on my channel. And I was very happy to do so. I just got them the other day. So I haven't even opened them yet, and this is going to be a video where I unbox them and give my first impressions. Later, after I've had some time to play them with friends, I'll put up another video and show the game being played and also kind of give my review of the game. So Alexandra is based in Salt Lake City, Utah in the United States. This is her business card. And I have to say, I love the logo that they have. I love the deep primary colors, the deep red, yellow, and blue. That's really cool. And I like this motto on the back, unconventional learning through games. That's sweet. And I'll be putting contact information and links to their stuff and their YouTube channel in the description below of this video so you can check it out. And also I'll put some cards into this video. This is also a neat little flyer that came with it that gives some testimonials from people who have played their games. They have a lot of different games for different uh, to teach you different types of sentences. They also have jigsaw puzzles that help you to put different sentences together. They have different languages, and they have some large floor games and large dice for children, young children, which I think would be fantastic. And look at this board game up here with like, and it's stored in the style of a briefcase. I love how that one looks. All right, let's put these uh, things aside for just a moment and let's focus on this one first. So right off the bat, I love the graphic of the night and I think that would attract young kids, especially young boys. I really like to see things that can attract the young boys into language learning because we don't see a lot of cool graphics and cool cards in this field. By the way, these both came fully shrink-wrapped. I already opened it a little bit. It didn't come like that. I just already opened it a little bit to speed things up when I go ahead to open it before you. So this box says quiz and act. Present perfect and past simple. And there's an address on the side and some more contact information and some rules on the back. So let me go ahead and open this up. Let's have a look at the cards. Another thing that I'm really liking here is that this box is a little bit smaller than a standard trading card or collectible card, at least the ones that I use. There must be different types of sizes and standards worldwide, but this particular one is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, and I think that's going to make it great for children especially because they're going to like that they can hold and manipulate this box and these cards better in their hands. And it also looks, you know, a little more cute. So I like that. Okay, this is interesting. See, you're going to get a slightly different perspective from me than you would from other people because I also like to design and make language learning card games. And I can tell you that these are a lot thicker and they have an interesting texture. They're different than the materials that I use or that come from the companies that print my cards. This is really neat to me. I like this because there's a wood design. You can see the panels are strips of wood and this actually feels a little bit rough. Just, just a little bit rough. It has texture almost like wood. That's pretty neat. You can see the cards are pretty dang thick. So that's really cool. Okay, and these all say challenge on the back and they have the logo of Regipio down there on the corner. All right, liking that so far, a lot of challenge cards. Now let's look at the front. 
Okay, these have a great layout. I like the border. It looks, it's very easy to read. And I see there's something, the answer is upside down on the bottom. We have some questions, questions and answers here. Wow, look at this. Who was Guy Fox? Holy snap. Wow. I know who that guy is. He, he, uh, <laughs> I think he brought a bomb into like the English Parliament or maybe House of Commons or something like that. I can't remember exactly now. Wow, that's a question. So now this is making me think this might be for older kids, maybe like teenagers or something. Okay, so we have some questions and some answers on each card. I don't really know how the game plays yet. Maybe I should read those rules to us, but we're not going to get into playing the game just yet. Okay, so these are 50 cards with different questions and answers, and I really like the layout. Very clear. Okay, and those feel very sturdy. It's a very thick, hard cardstock. I really like that. Okay. Maybe we'll just read part of this box. It says, face up to the challenge, act out the sounds and gestures of animals, sing some funny songs, and answer questions from a culture quiz. Learn more about English-speaking countries and have fun regardless of your age. Number of players, two to eight. The aim of this game is to achieve the highest number of points. Well, you can read this whole thing if you just want to pause the video, but I'll leave it at that for now. I'm not going to get into playing the game quite yet. Let's look at the next thing. All right, this one is called Home English. And I like how they combine the E there. That's very clever. Let's chat about sport and free time. Perfect thing for me. I love to play sports, and I have a lot of hobbies that I do in my free time. This one... Okay, it says we're on the top here. It says we're going to the, we're going to the movies on Sunday. There are better things to do. We hear such heated conversations every day. Make them as fluent in English as in your native language. Lots of fun, hilarious replies, and mastering your English will become easy peasy. And on the back, there is some explanation about the game in different languages. I think that's really great. I'm impressed that you guys put the time and effort into getting translations like that. It makes it more accessible to people in different countries. Can They can find this, know what it is, and play it to learn some English. Nice job on that. Wow. Okay, and it says for two or more players, ages 10 and up. Cool. All right, let me open this one. Okay, first of all, I have to say this box uh, is very strong, very sturdy. That's nice. Very thick cardboard, y'all. Guys are using. Oh, I see. This is a little flip out box. That is great. I love that. Okay, and we have an instructions pamphlet here. I have to say, you guys have really high quality papers and cards, and I like. I like that you have some additional resources like the little rule booklet and the little pamphlet I showed you before. Okay, so this says version 1. And, okay, there's some different versions for advanced players and as a party game. So different ways to play the game. Neat. I like, my impression from this is it's going to be fairly easy to learn how to play because there's they they've the uh, amount of rules is not too much and the font is very clear and so I think I'll be able to learn how to play this pretty quickly all right let's look at these wow okay so these cards are much bigger and they have plastic wrap almost around the whole card but not the very top and very bottom And I think I'll just slide them out this way. These ones are much 
well, not much, but these ones are a little bigger, I would say, than a standard playing card. So whereas the other ones are a little bit smaller, these ones are a little bit bigger. And this is really neat. I love the graphic design on the back with all the hobbies. That's pretty cool. And it says sport and free time on all of them. How about the fronts? A joker card. Okay, we've got four jokers, and then we have, it says a suggestion, like let's, or, okay, someone says the first thing, let's go for a swim. And then there's some different responses here. Ah, okay. Those don't exactly match that, so I think what might be happening here is, I, I'm just guessing, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to be able to say, different replies to other people's prompts on their card and we can kind of like mix and match them and get some hilarious results. Okay, that's neat. So we have different exclamations or questions or sentences surrounding hobbies and sports and games. Okay, cool. So these cards are all kind of set up the same. I love the border and I love the yellow against the gray. That really pops. That's pretty neat. Okay, and I'm seeing some little numbers on the bottom of the cards here. Okay, that may have some some special reason. I don't know. We can check that later. I guess every card is numbered. Those are really neat. Again, really high quality cards. They're very thick. Those will last you a long time. And easy to hold. I think those are great. Okay, and this thing here, similar. Bigger cards, fully wrapped, well, almost fully wrapped in plastic. Wow, okay. Similar setup here. So I think this is going to provide me with a lot of options in terms of things I can say and things I can respond with. So these are basically two packs to the same game. So I have to say this is looking really great at the start. Let's read another one. This Let's read the things on this card. Tom, what are we going to do tonight? And some other things we can say, they aren't yours. Did someone steal it? You're very determined. I know better ways of spending free time, dot, dot, dot. Me too. All right, cool. And this box is nice and sturdy and it folds up, so I'll be able to store the cards in there later. Let me put them in there. Sport and free time. That's looking excellent. You all did a nice job with this. Let me put these ones back out here too. So before I go, I want to give a shout out to a follower of mine named Selena, who was asking if I knew of some good games to develop her understanding of grammar and to speak sentences grammatically correct. I don't know which English, uh, which language in particular she was thinking of. I know she studies several languages, but I, I'm rec I've already recommended to her, and I want to re recommend again to her and to all of you, if you're interested in learning grammatically correct sentences and, and different, for example, this one is present perfect and past simple, um, definitely check out what Regipio is doing because they're focused on helping you to speak sentences and phrases and idioms and questions correctly. All right, this is uh, my first impressions of this game are very good. It looks excellent, high quality cards. I'm excited to play. And don't forget to like and subscribe before you go because probably within, I would say, a month or so, I'll be able to put up a video of this being played and give you a better review of it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time at Language Card Games. Bye for now.